Uh, Stephen Chow here with Billy Walsh, who was head coach of the High Performance Unit here based in the National Stadium. So, Billy, thanks for talking to us for a second. Billy, it'll be just interested in your own kind of feelings. Obviously, the National Senior Championship will kick off here tonight. You know, what, what's your own feelings around? Kind of, you work with a lot of the lads and that. You know, coming into the DV, kind of nervous with some of the lads are. Yeah, of course. But, you know, I think it's great, great bit of anticipation around this year because of the year that's in it, 2012. There's places left up for grabs at the Olympic Games. and. You know, we have such a depth of quality and in a lot of the weights, it's, it's, it's amazing. So I'm really looking forward to it. As a, a boxing uh, uh, fan, I'm really looking forward to it. I was fortunate enough to be in 10 senior finals in a row myself here, so I know how much it means to all the team. Uh, you know, and winning the National Senior Championships gets you a uh, number one spot uh, on the team, you know. So, you know, it, there's a lot up for grabs this year. And obviously, you said you've won senior titles, you've boxed for your country. So you understand maybe how the lads are feeling, particularly maybe some of the high performance lads, where there's a lot of expectations on them now that they, you know, they maybe they, they win their Irish title and then go on and maybe qualify for the Olympics. Yeah, there's lots of expectations, but you know, they all know this is the first qualifier. This is actually the first Olympic qualifier getting out of the national championships, which is now become so difficult. It's, it's you know, in some way, it's like a European championships on its own. That many, that many medalists in, 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 in some of the weight divisions, in particular the welterweight, we have six world-class fellows uh, actually in it, you know, so, you know, yes, they're obviously going to be a bit apprehensive, you know, but it's a, it's, for us, it's a little bit of a rest time. The boys have come back to their clubs and get ready for a week and win and sit back and observe and look at look at them all and uh, you know take in the champions and then try and turn them into European and world champions. I suppose finally Billy Day, I suppose the contest on everybody's lips is Kenny Egan and Joe Ward. You know, what, what would you I suppose your feelings be around that yeah, one? Yeah, look we have, you know, the, the old the old uh, horse, you know, that's been there and done that and wore the t shirt and we have the young fella that has done quite a bit in his career and an exceptional young talent, you know, and you know, it would be a battle of wits and a battle of uh, nerves, I think, coming, coming if they get through. And unfortunately, people forget there's another eight or nine guys that are going to get through to get into the final, you know. So you can slip up. If you're thinking about fighting Joe, Kenny's fighting tomorrow night. If you're thinking about fighting Joe, someone could, could pull the wool over his eyes, you know. So you've got to stay focused and one fight at a time. And then yeah, hopefully it'll be the case of the two, the two best guys get to the final. And then after that, and it's anyone's game. Any of those two guys come in and... and Whoever wins it has a great, a great chance to qualify for the Olympics. Billy, look, thanks for talking. It was on the very best of luck, obviously, with the Olympic qualifiers coming up now as well. Thank you very Thank much. You.